brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Father Jason Brooks, and I'm a legionary of Christ priest serving in the Archdiocese of Detroit, Michigan in the United States. And this Sunday we celebrate Holy Trinity Sunday. And I wanted to share with you a little reflection on the Holy Trinity. And to help me with that, I'm going to read from John's chapter 14, verses 15 and following. Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you desolate. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live. You will live also. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If a man loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, And we will come to him and make our home with him. So I'm standing here in front of this icon of the Holy Trinity. Certainly the Holy Trinity is a great mystery. However, what we do know is that God is not solitary. God is a communion of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And when we were baptized... We were baptized into their very life, into their communion. And now we share in their divine nature. We are now sons and daughters of God. And we participate in this communion through grace, in the order of grace. We are now sons and daughters of God. And God sees us as his children And that's something very endearing to us. That is something that we all want to experience. That's something that God our Father wants us to experience. As Jesus said, he and the Father will manifest themselves to those who love him, who follow him, who listen to him. And that's the Holy Spirit's job is to reveal to us the love of God the Father and the Lordship of Jesus Christ. The Holy Trinity, it's what we are all called to live. It's what we're all called to ultimately participate in, in heaven definitively. But here on earth, we can already start to experience the joy of being a child of God, of knowing God who has revealed himself to us. That's what Christianity ultimately professes. The revelation of God to us, humanity. And he revealed that he loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. That's the gospel for this Sunday, John 3.16. Perhaps the most famous gospel passage out there. And so God wants us to know that he loves us and he wants us to be able to to see, so to speak, with the eyes of our hearts that he delights in us. Just as the Father affirmed Jesus at the baptism, you are my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And there was this manifestation of the spirit through the cloud and the dove. So too for us, our Father wants us to know that he sees us He's paying attention to us and that he delights in us, that he's happy to see us. And that's what gives us joy. And Jesus said that he wanted us to experience his joy, the joy that he has from his relationship with the Father in the Holy Spirit. So I pray, dear brothers and sisters, 
that we have a wonderful celebration of the Holy Trinity and that we can all live as sons and daughters of our Father in joy with the Holy Spirit in Christ. God bless you. Love.